Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of the Hottie Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for tuning in with me once again. So guys, I have my sister who flew all the way from England to come and spend time with me, so I am filming this video ahead of time, but the gratitude and the excitement and the enthusiasm and the openness is there. So thank you so much for chilling with me early in advance, or maybe I'll delay this, I don't know. I do also want to say that I have the Light Seers Tarot that I will be working with today in order to pull messages and work with our guides this week. This is my second or third time buying this tarot deck. And then I had this idea of what if I shared with you guys the decks that I find myself purchasing more than once. And I purchase them more than once for specific reasons. Number one, I'm in love with them and then I shuffle with them so much that they get destroyed or I something may happen to them and I can't live without them. Like I can't not have it in my tarot collection. I have over, probably over 40 tarot decks. So if you guys would like a video on that, uh, my favorite tarot decks, I would love to share that with you if you're down, if you're open, but you'll just have to let me know because I'm not entirely sure what's gonna be your vibe. Um, you know, what you would like and what you would not like. So I'm going to pull up the chart astrologically, the astrological chart on Franklin's iPad. For those of you guys that don't know, Franklin is my um, five pound chihuahua. This is his iPad that he uses to watch videos. And currently right now he's learning Spanish. So he's been watching a lot of um, educational videos on how to learn Spanish right now. So shout out to Franklin. Um, having said that, as I'm setting up the tarot, and I know, guys, this is like the longest intro ever. I feel you. I get it. I just really wanted to quickly tell you that I believe August 28th or August 27th, it's the first week or the first Monday right before September starts, Astro Chat Live is going to resume. And for those of you guys that don't know, Astro Chat Live was when I would come onto the internet, I would go live on YouTube and then I would stream it also on Instagram and we would just break down all of the astrological transits week by week and we would also pull cards. So that is going to happen starting the last week before September starts on that Monday if that makes any sense and I can get a specific date for you right now. So thank you for being patient. I know you guys have missed that. Some of you guys keep telling me that your alarms still go off. Um, okay, it looks like it's August 1st. So August 1st, Astro Chat Live is going to resume. So go ahead and put that in your calendars. It's free. It's the full break weekly breakdown. It's time for us to connect. And a lot of times I channel messages as I'm working with you guys. I needed to take a break, a hiatus for some time, but clearly I'm back now and I'm very excited. Okay. So now that we have all those disclaimers, I just want to really ground myself, center myself. Angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe, I thank you so much for your presence now. I feel the goodness in this moment. I feel the goodness in the room. I feel the goodness right now, and I thank you for it. I feel alignment. I feel harmony. I feel blessing. I feel connection. I set the intention that those who are tuning in today and spending time with me as I shuffle and pull cards that they receive the messages that they're meant to receive at this moment in time. I call in protection over them. I call in blessing over them. I call in light over them and love and peace. Spirit, you're speaking to me the word understanding. So I call into their consciousness, understanding, a deeper understanding of anything that they're str struggling to figure out at this moment in time, give them the clarity and the discernment to know what they need to do or what is going on in the situation or whatever it is that they're confronting. That's in the forefront of their mind. Angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe, I call on you for deeper clarity and insight and discernment for me that you protect me while I'm channeling these messages and that you allow me to use my gifts in a way that is helpful and healing 
to those that this message is for. We'll be using the tarot as a tool. I give my gratitude to the creators of this tarot deck for it does awaken in me my vision. Spirit, what do you want us to know for this week ahead? What messages do you need us to hear and know and see? I'm hearing the words um, forgiveness. I'm also seeing a word that starts with H. Um, Spirit is showing me harbor, harboringer, harboringer. Guys, I'm going to... Um, Pull this up on my phone. Hard finger. What does that mean? A person or thing that announces or signals the approach of another. Wow. Okay. Spirit, why are you sharing the word harbinger? That's giving me something is approaching you or something is showing up to you. I I am getting a, a sense, a signal this week. Whoa. Did you guys see that? The devil card and as I literally was I when it was approaching I felt someone being like like adamant kind of like wanting to push away self-defense guys listen self-defense is something that is coming through right now making sure that you if something feels off I'm also getting a strong message of staying in twos or threes do not separate from the group that's something that this week uh, someone is really going to is like someone is I'm hearing the words um, advancing, something is advancing on them, or someone is coming up and advancing on them. This is a strong message that Spirit wants to warn you about being separate from your group. Do not separate from your group. Do not separate from your people. Do not separate from your safety net. Um, also, don't allow you, don't back your, don't back yourself up to the point where your back is to a wall or back. This has something to do with physical, literally physical violence, something approaching someone. So spirit is really giving a warning straight away. That's to a specific person. I'm also seeing someone pushing a, a, a safety button in order, like a panic button in order to get out of a circumstance or a situation. This is a very serious message that spirit is coming it could be something so simple. It, it's giving me like city vibes, but and also specifically Nashville. I don't know why Nashville, but you're like a girl or someone going, it's specifically a girl, but she's going out with her friends and she's caught off guard and you just don't, it feels like dinner, like you're going to dinner and then you get separated from the group. Spirit is not, if you normally carry around safety or if, if this is something that you've been thinking about getting, um, like a safety, a safety button or something like a panic button or knowing the, 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 the capabilities of what your phone can do. Let's say you need to call emergency 911 or a panic button. Also spirit is saying, don't hesitate. If something feels off or somebody makes you uncomfortable, don't worry about someone else's feelings. I heard the word self-conscious. Don't be self-conscious about this. Just go ahead and almost react is what Spirit is sharing. So that's a very specific message. Let me see what's going on here. We have Justice card and we have Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Again, this is the Lightseer's Tarot. If you guys want me to link the tarot, all the tarot decks, I have an Amazon storefront, which I created, and I'll link that down below. So I just feel like you need to be very cautious and aware of something that is coming through, that is, is, that's coming, approaching you. Let me go ahead and put this on D&D. Spirit, is there all that's there for that message? Someone said, they said flee. They said get out, get out, like run. They're like, sometimes you can't control the empress. It's a woman. It's a feminine. It's definitely specifically a feminine, feminine um, or female uh, presence. It just feels very making sure that you're not staying in a situation. Especially, guys, if you're traveling. Sorry, hold on a second. Especially if you guys are traveling, traveling two of swords, or you're not aware of where you're at, what you're going, your circumstances. Chariot card, four of pentacles, eight of swords, and two of swords. Don't be caught off guard. Don't allow yourself to be caught off guard. Don't walk around on your phone. 
um, you know, texting and while you should be aware of your, your environment, your surroundings, things like that. I'm not victim blaming or shaming. I feel like spirit is trying to uh, uh, um, help you to avoid potential. Okay, spirit, we're going to, spirit's allowing me to move forward. So we're going to move on to the next thing. What else do we need to know this week? Or what else does the collective need to know this week? Harboringer, they're still talking about it. Okay, a Knight of Cups. So Harboringer, again, like I said, Harboringer of things to come. Harboringer. Best-selling author, the harbor of things to come. The harboring of things to come. Explores ancient mysteries, prophetic warnings for you at, for the U.S. The fact that that is what is coming through right now, guys, I don't even know what harboringer is. That Well, I didn't know until just now when I spirit just taught me a new word. What about what's to come, spirit? What is What is to come? I, I'm hearing, um, geez, these cards keep sliding and jumping and sliding and jumping like I'm chasing. Wow. Uh, hi, Priestess. Your intuition, I'm seeing a blooming, like a blooming intuition. I'm seeing, this is the second time where I'm getting a rose and it, the rose went from pink to red. So I feel like something is flushing. Something is filling up with something I feel I'm getting a sense of maturity or like leveling up in your intuitive knowledge your intuitive visions I'm hearing the words cycle spirit is showing um a cycle which is I feel like this is the second time that they're bringing this up um where it's like they're saying they're they're sharing they're showing me and sharing with me the word cold. So at one point maybe the 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 intuitive vision was a little. Uh, when when you're saying the word cold, what are you trying to tell me? Cold. It's like isolated. I feel like for some of you guys, you were you were in a space stuck in a cycle of of isolation where your your spirit really pulled you away from certain things whether you liked it or not and you were just focused on delivering I'm hearing uh, delivering so you had to I don't know if you were delivering messages to others or if you were intuitively tapping into or spirit was trying to deliver intuitive messages to you um, but it felt like because you were in a cycle and a stage where spirit needed to speak to you clearly, loud and clear is what it is that I'm hearing, loud and clear, all of the distractions, all of what the noise around you was, you were pulled away from it so that you would be in a position where you're able to focus. Now this week, it feels like something is now starting to warm up and you're going to be able to mix and mingle and i'm i'm hearing the words kind of finding your tribe you're starting you're starting to warm up or find your people or your people are supposed to find you i'm also feeling like i'm hearing like a time like a time warp someone just kind of blasting through space things are going to start going really really fast and speeding up really fast for you and it feels positive it feels like you're going to start seeing things happening for you really rapid quick and it feels like it's it's good if you have been stuck in a stage where you've been isolated pulled away from people or spending a lot of time working uh, working on healing yourself or maybe you've been working or studying or whatever and now you're starting to 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 break from that break free of that a door is opening a cycle has ended and now things are going to start warming up when it comes to you being able to be more social engaging seeing things that seeing things in people that feel good for you that feel more playful that feel more light instead of it feeling like work and so heavy all the time that's this week. I see, yep, you guys, Queen of Swords. I literally, when I'm seeing this, I'm seeing someone going from the Queen of Swords energy to the Ten of Cups. So this is someone who has been study, studying, is, isolated, um, withdrawn is the word that Spirit is telling me, disconnected from their family, their friends, or from a sense of community. Uh, I just heard the word prophecy. So they were... I don't know if there was like a prophecy that was being cemented or downloaded into your consciousness during this time. Um, journaling, all of those self-reflection, all those like processing things, processing, processing information. For some of you guys, you might have been without a job or in between jobs and 
now it seems like things in that area are going to start warming up and coming to life. Um, I'm also seeing more activity when it comes to finances and coming back to life once again after a time frame where you were kind of, now, I don't want to say doing the bare minimum, because but it feels like in your perspective, you feel like the bare minimum was happening. Like you knew that things could have been more, but spirit is like, this is actually a really fruitful time in your life where you were meant to focus, be just like, not disconnected, but in the in a period of transition. And now things are going to start warming up. Things are going to start taking off. Things are going to start making like, you're going to start feeling, okay, we have King of Wands. Speaking of warmth, guys. I'm seeing, it's so funny because um, I'm seeing someone drinking like ginger tea or working with roots uh, that warm the body and warm, like energetically warm the body and ginger is something that's coming through. Interestingly enough, I've been drinking ginger tea every morning too, so I guess we're all in alignment here. This is a reading for the collective, so I'm a part of the collective, so here I am with you, but I'm seeing raw ginger being used, and if you guys don't know, ginger heats up the body, it heats up um, energetically, it heats, heats, heats circumstances up, not only the body, but also if you're working your magic or your intention, so I just see someone grating fresh ginger. For me personally, I put it in my tea in the morning before I even have my coffee, which is a new change for me, kind of new. I'm like returning back to my old ways of doing things because I've evolved. But yeah. King of Wands. As soon as I saw the King of Wands, I'm seeing ginger. And that page of pentacles showing up is giving me what you apply to the body, how you take care of the body, how you physically. Something about also exercise, um, fitness, physical fitness, becoming more strong. And I'm hearing the word striking. Spirit is, wants you to strike. Spirit wants you, is, is positioning you into a position where you're going to strike. Things are warming up and heating up in your life. Something is about to really take off in a way. I'm hearing next level, next level, next level advancement, growth. I'm hearing contain, contain your enthusiasm. Some of you guys feel like you have to contain your enthusiasm because you might be a little wary or cautious, but spirit is saying to you, you, you know, you're safe. This really makes me happy. Something about recognition. Sometimes, you guys, sometimes with the word recognition, we think that we have to, we want to be recognized for what we've done. And I'm also hearing the word chamber. So there's been this chamber. It's giving me Harry Potter vibes, like chamber of secrets. There's been this chamber that you have been navigating underneath in order to find. And when you found this chamber, when spirit led you to this this truth, this awareness, this aha moment, or this graduation, so to speak, in your life, you were able to advance to the next level. You were able to, like, recognize something. And because you recognize something, you have you have so much growth, emotional growth, mental growth, physical growth, um, spiritual growth. And now you're able to apply it. And now you're able to do better. At first, it's like exercising a muscle. And you, you, you're starting to come into your body. You're starting to come into your own. You're starting to become more strong again. And because you feel more strong and confident and assertive and dominant and you know, ready to uh, initiate things and put yourself out there, spirit is like, they, they re we recognize the fact that you have recognized this and now we can take you to the next level. And it's just, you literally have leveled up in some way in your life. And I do want to say that you, this had to have been some, it's giving me like, I'm getting a vision of Harry Potter when they're at, it's not Hogwarts. It's, um, the bank Gringotts. They're at Gringotts and they have to take this like, um, like, I don't know what you call that thing that they ride, but either way, it's like a thing that you ride into the ride in the caves and it, all of these dangers are down there and all of these protective things and all of these secrets and all of these treasures are down there. And there's, you find out, you recognize that there's a treasure for you down there. It's been there the entire time. And now that you have it, you're like, holy shit. Like now I know myself. Now I know this circumstance. Now it's like this feeling, this in, immense feeling of empowerment. Oh my goodness, two of cups. It's like you've come and you've come into connection and alignment and harmony with something so beautiful.
and it's just like boom it's happening now really quickly guys I just need to pause this video and just talk to you that this video is sponsored by cozy earth which I'm wearing right now Dude. cozy earth has legit the softest lounge sets that I've fallen in love with their clothes are breathable and cooling plus they're made from sustainable bamboo and safely produced protecting both people and the environment which you guys know I'm all about I'm wearing a size small and an extra small in the lounge pants in the color ivory, which I've also noticed is resistant to stains and pilling. This is my third set and I'm hoping to soon purchase the sheets to complete my cozy collection. You can use coupon code BAHADILIFE40 for 40% off your order, especially their new collection that just dropped. And I'll share all the links that you'll need to activate that code down below. So thank you guys for allowing me to talk about Cozy Earth, the sponsor of today's video. Um, the coupon codes for that will be linked down below. So let's go ahead and dive in. The last thing that I was saying to you guys was the Two of Cups. This is wild to me. Spirit, talk to me about the Two of Cups. I just keep hearing soul's recognition or soul recognition. So it's something that your soul senses, knows, wants, and has and will be deeply fulfilled by um, two of Cups, can you speak, clarify this Two of Cups for me? Wow. Yo, Six of Swords and the Lovers. Six of Swords and the Lovers. If this is not a romantic soulmate connection or some deeper connection on that level, this is something that your soul, that spirit, the divine, your higher self has been guiding you towards this entire time. And then you finally get to the treasure chest. You finally get to this treasure tro trove and you're making your way up and out of it and out into the, the new world. I'm hearing the new world. Something you found something, you found something of value and it has to do something with recognition, like your recognition within yourself. Like you realize something about yourself. This is my destiny. This is my purpose. This is what I want, or this has been holding me back and you recognize it. And now that you recognize it, you're making your way up to the, the top and everything starts to warm and bloom and blossom. Wow. Soul recognition. Your soul will recognize the things that it's meant for, the things that it's meant to have, the things that it's meant to receive. The fact that you want it, the fact that you've wanted it is a sign and all you need to know that you were in alignment with it, that you are harmonizing with it, and that it was manifesting currently and now manifesting and clearly something has come into fruition. Spirit. Wow. Six of cups. This is either something from the past revisiting or this is the, the the literal thing that you have been slowly but surely moving towards moving towards this entire time the lover's card the two of cups six of swords moving into literally transitioning and moving into better times i'm also seeing that your shadow self helped to bring you to this point it was you recognizing this this darkness or you recognizing the trouble or you going through this process are you um, studying or, and being pulled away it was that that was pulling you towards so that you can recognize so that you can learn so that you can do better so that you can receive better any last words when it comes to this spirit this is one of the best readings that I think that we've received all year I'm so happy for you I'm, I'm also hearing the words finally there's like I, the, the word that spirit is using is recognition recognize you're going to recognize it hierophant it's literally like you recognizing it you seeing it and just being like this is it this is what my soul has longed for the entire time this is what my soul has been wanting this is what my soul has been looking for and it found me there's this emphasis on it finding you I am seeing magic being he happening here you guys like while you're something about working with ginger working like making your tea if you guys don't like ginger I get it I I can't tell you how many times when I'm t working with certain clients or clients that approach me and they're just like literally I don't like this herb or I don't like this and I'm like it's not you have to understand that sometimes it's not about what you like right so these herbs and the medicine is not something that you're always going to like but it's going to be what works it's going to be what helps so some of you guys just really have to move past that I mean the, the problem is is that you literally five of pentacles you stay in your comfort zone and because you stay in your comfort zone and you won't allow yourself to 
work with certain things or do certain things is what creates the blockage. And I don't know why I'm going off on that, but that's a specific message. It's almost like spirit gets frustrated by you being like, oh, I don't like this, or I don't like the way this tastes, or I don't like the way this smells. Unless you have an allergic reaction to it. Yep. Ace of Cups. I just feel something here is meant to be opened up. I just heard the word isolated, like you're not meant to be, and that when I heard the word isolated, it's like spirit was moving it aside. So if you've been in a position of isolated, being isolated, you're now going to have, or your heart has felt isolated or iced off, or you have been creep, like lacking creativity or fighting. I just feel also too, someone fighting for something that is rightfully theirs, something that they didn't ask to, to be a part of, but because of circumstances, there's going to be a breakthrough with this. I'm hearing a door opening and you getting like recognized and having peace in this situation. This is the most positive thing. I'm also getting a vision of a tiger lily, which is interesting because I have them here, but I'm getting a vision of a tiger lily. So please guys look at the symbolism of that. Yeah, you guys are really moving away from chariot, three of swords reversed. I'm gonna move this here so you guys can see it. Um, chariot and three of swords reversed. This is either you going on this trip, this venture, this journey, but the majority of you guys, I see this is you stepping into a, a position, position of empowerment where literally the things that were work, that were set to defeat you or destroy you are now carrying you towards a greater blessing, towards a, a better truth, to a better outcome, towards a, a, a better end result, like an end happily ever after, even though this doesn't feel like a, a happily ever after, it feels like happily ever beginning, you know what I mean? Wow. Can you give, can you give them advice, spirit? Something about giving them advice, help them to work this, this week, help them to work it this week. I'm hearing high level, the words high level. Some of you guys, um, you're tickling your nose or wiggling your nose. It's giving me, um, bewitched. Wow. Sun card and ace of pentacles. This is a, <laughs> this is the best reading we've had in a long time. Uh, I see an investment. I see happiness. I see you believing. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing spirit saying well, the prophecy that we showed you, the vision that we showed you, especially in your dreams, your prophetic dreams, was it's set. It's been set into motion. It was placed there for a reason. It was not there to tease you. It was there to inspire you. And you are meant to go. You are meant to advance. You're meant to level up. Wow. There might be um, an investment that you have to make. There might be a seed that needs to be planted that has to do with your greatest joy. Some of you guys I'm hearing taking vitamins, especially vitamin B12 or vitamin D, eight of pentacles. You guys need to start to put into motion um, like what is needed, like what is needed in order to make help this to carry forward because this is about getting the body and the blood moving um, I'm, I just keep seeing the King of Wands and I see his activity and I see the body getting heated up. So for some of you guys, this is definitely about fitness, fitness goals, um, getting active, traveling, networking, advancing level. I'm seeing high, high levels of wealth, securing high levels of wealth. And as I said, that 10 of Pentacles, this is securing generational wealth. This is about making investments big time investments, believing in yourself, believing in those investments, keeping your eyes locked on the prize. There's a reason why we isolated you because we needed you to be inspired enough. There's a reason why we cut off the resources here because there was more resources here. So we cut you off from this so that you could be poured into from this. Does this make sense? You guys You have to let me know. If someone had like their job all of a sudden started drying up, it's because there is more abundance over here and you're being guided and led over there. I'm hearing if spirit have led this to you or led you through this before, they will lead you to it again. And it's just only, it's happening again. Two of wands, two of wands, recognition. I keep hearing the word recognition. It's soul's recognition. It's where you're going. It's where you're headed. It's what you're building towards, and I feel like you guys are going to be celebrating it. I'm seeing new chapters, new connections, new friendship circles, new community, new area codes, new tax brackets. It's really brand new. It's like, it may not necessarily be here, but 
here yet like but you're going into it you're advancing into it you're reaching into it it's right there it's at your fingertips it's where we're going it's where we're headed that's so awesome I'm excited okay spirit give more advice please oh one day my soul just opened up is what I heard. We have Judgment card, we have the Star card, and we also have the Strength card. This has everything to do with opening up, being ready. I'm also hearing the words available, but when I say available, it's you talking to Spirit and telling them that I am ready and I am available for this next level. I am ready and I am open and I am available to this next love. I am open and I am ready and I am available for this next abundance. I am ready and I am available to this next project. That's what Spirit is saying here. You got to speak it. You really need to speak it into existence and call it into life. And I'm, I'm really seeing you guys working your magic with tea. There's something about working your magic with tea. Me personally, I've been doing the ginger tea in the morning uh, with green tea and manuka honey. For some of you guys, you might you can tap into spices. Okay, I'll show you this card in a minute. You can tap in with spices. Turmeric tea is another thing making a turmeric latte. It's very warm. Things that heat the body up. I do the same thing when I'm working my candles, when I'm working magic for the apothecary for my clients. It's about the, the energy of the herb, the planet that that herb rules, and how those components come together, how they mix and mingle together, matched with intention. That's what happens within my fixed candles, and that's also what happens within my... Uh, intention oils so each one of those embodies very specific energies guys if I was I'm really feeling sp speaking of which I'm really feeling the Pluto death oil because it's just so strongly powerful don't let the name scare you yeah I'm hearing something about getting rid of something that cripples you five of cups it's getting rid of something that emotionally cripples you um, that's interesting that the Pluto death oil is something that was the first thing that came through because it's like, it, it's literally there to remove and reemerge and reawaken and, and bring to life the things that make us become powerful again, put us back into control to remove the things that make us imbalanced or overly submissive and I'm pretty sure that came in a, that was a message that came in last week spirit wants you to be empowered spirit wants you to be in control interesting I'm seeing the love and romance candle also coming into the forefront of my mind some of you guys are really bored with your love life or you're not seeing any you don't like what's available you don't like what's around you you feel like it's or you might have a tendency to fall into a trait of complacency or you might have a partner that falls into a place of complacency this is something that needs to be wiped out and removed at least spirit sees that so work your magic with that if this is truly the case then I'm gonna go ahead and add ginger to the love and romance candle just for this week I'll list it down and uh, below in the description box for you guys okay guys please spirit give us more advice um, in order to help us I'm seeing a lot of physical fitness right now and while you're doing physical fitness you're working on affirmations some of you guys are feeling a little fearful on this new chapter meaning that there's something new that you're meant to embark on or put yourself in but you're like you feel like you're not going to fit in you feel like it's not gonna be like it's like you you believe that it's gonna be successful for everyone else but you and spirits like why would you think that that's simply not the case I'm also Wow, this is very specific. Spirit said you got to be careful that your words aren't poison ivy, meaning it's like something that you keep speaking over yourself and it just spreads like a rash. So make sure that it's medicine and not poison ivy. Spirit, okay. Spirit, guys, what is it that you need to give? What advice do you need to give? Help each and every single one of the viewer right now to be successful. Wow, Ace of Swords just jumped out. I'm hearing, I'm committing to moving forward, you guys. My nose, my nose right now is lit up. When that happens, that's like spirit activity, like a lot of spiritual activity, especially when it comes to my guides. This is you actively choosing and deciding and mentally 
I keep hearing the word recognition, like you mentally recognizing, wow, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to advance. And that, what is it that you're walking away from three of swords? Just a lot of heartache, a lot of suffering. It's like you, you, you take a step and it's like something pushes you back and it hurts. Or you put yourself out there and something just destroys or dismantles your hope, your faith, and makes you feel like you don't, I'm hearing don't belong. I don't belong here. I don't belong here. This isn't working out. How can I make this work out? And spirits, like something has really awakened within you or clarity. I'm also seeing a, a not a detox cleanse, but energy cleansing, chakra cleansing, so that each, each one of the chakra points is a, 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 a clear channel and it opens up. Wow. So if you guys can do some energy work this week, I'm also seeing you guys doing some cord cutting, removing this week any cords. And that's another thing too, that heat, adding heat, the element of heat or fire to magic is very, very important. Very, very important this week. Adding heat or fire to your magic is very, very important this, this week. It adds speed. It adds momentum. It adds power. It adds strength. And that's the last card. I love this reading, you guys. I hope this reading resonated. Um, please, you know, mark your calendars for August 1st, I believe. August 1st, 1st, Astro Chat Live will resume. It was every Monday at 7 p.m. It was always a party. It was always a vibe. Whether we came in with house music going or we came in and it was like, relaxing or whether we came in it was like an energetic detox you guys we would just show up and we would just power it would be so powerful the astrology charts the that the, that we would pull the energy readings that that would come through the downloads that we would come through it was like fuel to the fire it was every monday at 7 p.m eastern standard time so go ahead and set your alarms we have about three weeks maybe four weeks until that resumes but it's going to be super powerful and also um September, August 4th, you guys, or September, ah, frick, I can't remember. September 1st, I believe, um, Secret Circle Tarot School will start to resume, but before that, Astro Chat Live will come back, okay? Uh, yeah, and this video is sponsored by Cozy Earth. Shout out to, to them. I love their fits. Like I said, you guys know I'm so picky, and I would not put it on and recommend it if I didn't actually wear it or recommend it. I highly recommend it. It's the softest thing. If you guys could feel it, then you would love it. Also, if you need me, I'm going to be in the apothecary, of course, always working my magic quietly behind the scenes, usually anywhere between 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning is when I'm working with the candles. I don't always post it on my Instagram because I've learned that people and spam accounts and scammers and all those other things just take my work and post it and it's just it muddles the energy up and I'm just never gonna do that spirit told me over three years ago to stop sharing as much and I have so yes if you need me you can find me at bahadilife.com that's the source for all magical goods for manifesting everything that you could possibly need and of course I uh, show up every week in order to give you guys guidance to help you know what it is that I recommend and what's going on in the planets and also what's going on in our energy field so you can manifest and not have any blockages when it comes to that okay you should not be experiencing any crazy blockages all right you guys I will see you then page of wands is showing up so get active get moving get out get going love that speak life over yourself and until then I'll see you guys in my next video bye you were created to live a life of magic abundance love and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing the hottie life apothecary is the magical home of jessica alexandria where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. 
Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.